Hey, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are, I do hope that you are having a wonderful day. Now, this video is specifically for fathers. Today I got a very special gift, and I love doing things with my hands. So this came in very, very handy and very unique and a very special time. And I thought, as I opened it, I thought, wow, I'll do a video on this one because I can see some lessons out of it. And I do hope that this will encourage you. I do hope that this will um, uh, will will basically lift you up and maybe put a smile on your face. And if you're a tool person, well, get yourself one or get your dad one, get your son one. Uh, so let's have a look at what they got for me. And I do hope that you like the paraphrasing, the metaphors that I put into it. Um, as you can see, it's a, it, it's most of a, it's a boy's dream. A multi tool is a boy's dream. Um, and in every month, uh, there lives a boy. But here you are. It says, thank you for helping me build my life. Thank you for helping build my life. When I saw it immediately, I thought, how thoughtful. And I thought, that's quite interesting because if you think about it, that's what fathers do. Now, this is a very versatile tool. And I believe the responsibility of a father is also all about versatility. Now, think of a hammer, for example. Driving nails in, pulling nails out, you know, shaping, reshaping. And I trust that that's also a role of a father. You know, building and maintaining foundations of the family, you know, mediating broken relationships and potentially strengthening fragile places. Maybe knocking off some hard shells to allow the softness of the person to emerge. So with gentle care, a father then shapes and molds a young mind. Reliability. The whole patch is reliable, but I like the screwdriver. Now, as an engineer, someone who likes opening and closing things, I find the screwdriver, it's very, very handy. It's very handy in tightening things up. It's very handy in bonding things. It's very handy in loosening things. And as a father, I think all those days that sometimes my children are stuck Sometimes I can see they are a bit stubborn and I need to be able to be soft enough to loosen them up, to loosen their emotion, maybe make them laugh and then get in on their inside for them to release to me the emotions or maybe the idea that is challenging them. Then I thought about adaptability and versatility. And you don't get any tool that is more versatile than a knife. Right? Like you want to cut, you want to open an envelope, you want to soften something, the knife will give you a lot of advantages. Right? And as a father, helping children make decisions through some tough times. And sometimes to their world, the toughness is about making a decision whether to do homework or not. But as a father, you've got to cut through the fluff, cut through those difficult moments and direct them in a way that gives them the opportunity to be able to do that which seems to be difficult. Now, this tool is quite well put together. With the pliers, you can open things, you can tighten things, you can use it to hold something small, you can use it to reach things that you normally wouldn't reach. And the grip, the grip that, um, that the pliers provides for you is quite powerful. And you can, I can only imagine, like, you know, a father taking their child to school. You're crossing the road and you're holding their hand and you're making them feel safe. That grip is tight and it's gentle at the same time. You can tighten it a bit more, but you're going to hurt them. So as a father, we then have that responsibility of holding on and supporting our children as they grow, our families as they grow. How about soft strength? Right, soft strength. And I thought, hmm, okay, soft strength. And here, there's a file, okay? There's a file right here. And this one comes in to basically soften off some rough edges, you know? Maybe you've bitten your nails off. I can use this one to soften my rough edges. I can use it to tone down something that is sharp so that I can carve that edge that might otherwise cause damage. And as a father, we have a responsibility to sharpen those rough edges. Maybe it's in the tonalities. Maybe it's the way our children are treating their siblings or the way they are treating 
other kids in the park or maybe how to respond to bullies. I don't know about you, but I think this tool is quite handy. And then I thought, what about safety and protection? Safety. And that's where the saw comes in, because the saw part of the tool, right? Cutting through life challenges, making pathways using your soul, maybe shaping certain things that you're cutting through life's difficulties. And every single child needs a father. A father is that person we look up to for safety, for protection, for guidance, for mentorship. So I want you to know that being a father is like being a handy multi-tool, versatile, dependable, reliable, available. This thing you can put it back in its in his, ba- in his bag and carry it around with you. And I do trust that as a father, as you go through life, also look for one. Look for a father if you're a father. And above all, we have our father who is in heaven, who is always looking out for every single one of us. I want to leave you with this. Today is Father's Day. And I do hope that within yourself, regardless of the challenges that you're facing, regardless of the turmoil of life, regardless of the journey at which you find your father responsi- responsibilities at, be encouraged. You are needed than ever before. If you've had issues with your father, make this the special day where you pick up the phone and make peace. Because sooner or later, that blessings or the blessing of father comes round and finds you where you are and you don't know tomorrow. I hope you've been encouraged. I hope you have found something useful in this message. Happy Father's Day once again. God bless.